All right, I got us back to the point where we're at. So hopefully this doesn't fuck up on me again. Let's let's hope. Let's What's hope. this? We're getting reports of normal, reasonable, temperate political opinions somewhere in Martinez. This is because I keep on saying none of the above to political stuff, isn't it's it? It's also about that, but it's also more. Perhaps it's the hangover. Perhaps it's a temporary surge of serotonin. But something tells you it's time to become a citizen of the kingdom of conscience. First, where is the kingdom of conscience? It is not a place. It is a moment in time that can only arise in the right circumstances. What? In all of human history, it's only been achieved a handful of times. How do you bring about those circumstances? Incrementally. Um. Yawn. You'd get there faster with a little speed. That's true. I haven't done speed in like a few hours. History's greatest catastrophes have been brought about by people trying to make the world a better place. Huh. Too quickly. That's the genius of Dolores Day. She recognized that progress is meaningless if its gains are lost because of instability. Real, lasting change can only come about gradually. Increment by increment. What about all the things that are wrong now? Tisk, tisk. Just because you live in the present doesn't Fuck mean you, you have the right to place your needs above the needs of the future. You may never live to see the kingdom of conscience. Your children may not. Even your grandchildren might not. But that's no excuse not to keep working. What it's rationality? Boring. Yeah. What oh, my logic angel. loves it. Okay, but what's this kingdom of consciousness actually like? The kingdom is difficult to comprehend, and even more difficult to describe. Partly because humanity will need to discard many of the categories oh, this that is define sp and limit its speeding today. up time too. The kingdom Shit. of conscience is post-capitalist, post-national. Damn. It's also post-industrial, post-ideological, and even post-sexual. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Wait, maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. Um. That uh, seems fine. I still want to live for the present, though. Oh, shit. No, maybe not. Uh, fuck it. Let's let's just let's get there. Let's get to the future. Sounds incredible, Alonzi. Let's go there right Slow now. Slow down, Mr. Reasonable. Did you miss the part about compromising and taking things slow? All right, then let's get there eventually. That's right. Remember, real democracy is just around the corner for Revershaw. When that real democracy kicks in, a long time from now, we are all going to be so much happier. Oh, well, okay. What did I need Officer? to do to talk to her? Drama. What brings you up here in the rain? Yeah, I've got a better chance of trauma. Total Drama Island. What brings me up here in this rain? Drama. We're at two drama right now. Drama, 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 drama. Hell yeah. Three drama. Oh, wait. My morale went down. Oh, shit. Does this... It does give me some more volition. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna put this on for now. Damn, I didn't realize that gave me an extra drama. Oh, and plus one electrochemistry. This is even better than, than fucking this, right? Oh shit. No, no, no. This for that. Whoa, what am I fucking wearing? Oh god. But I'm at drama plus four, right? So we're, we're doing good, I think. Minus one drama. All right. Um, do I smoke a cigarette to get better drama? Officer, what brings you up? All right. Save. Um, 
All right, yeah, let's, let's. Hell yeah. All right, now I'm full, full of Officer, drama. What brings you up here in the rain? In God's name, wake up. Who? Hey. What? Dear God, you've been lied to. She could have killed her lover and lied to everyone. She's not candid at all. She smoke and mirrors and willow wisps. She hey. probably didn't give you her real name either. Why would she? Arrest her immediately before she further entangles you in her web of lies. You know, I think you didn't make that call to the station. What if I said that? Why would I? Would I have any suspicion that she actually didn't make the call? But... I think her real name is in class, Jamando. I agree. You wouldn't give us your real name, not when people are exactly. Well, like, I know Titus said it, her name's Cla class, yeah. But and also think about it. Here's the thing I was thinking about. Classier is Oranje. Um, her, and I know, like, yeah, like you know, isn't it kind of funny that like her pronunciation of her name is literally her like. Like the end of her name is like literally her the how her nationality is pronounced or whatever, and that's interesting. I mean, of course, yeah, maybe that's just like you know that's their country's pronunciation of that kind of J E, but I don't know. I just all of it just sounds fishy. Okay. Her voice cracks suddenly, like there's a garrote around her neck. Okay, what? Okay, it's not. Good. You can tell me the truth. I log your work every week. It's all transmitted to Common, sir. I couldn't just beg you not to enter my name. So I lied. Like I lied before. Like I did at LCSD. I have to lie all the time. I'm Look at her so hands. Tired of her it. fingernails are chipped white. Tell me your real name. It's Katarzyna Alasia. Ah. The smile on her face is timid, almost painfully it's so. It's a Grad name. Jims or Yugo Grad in origin. Not Occidental at all. Oh. Smells of motor oil, tiger, economic desolation, and rock music infused alcoholism. I'll just call you Miss Oranje Disco Dancer. Hold on. Katarina Alashe is not an Oranje's name, is it? It's not even Mon. Mandi, it's Grad. My parents were Zemsk immigrants, but I'm nationalized Oranese. Uh, All okay. I remember is Oranje. Alasia is my father's name. Of course, she doesn't look like an Oranese woman at all. She's... I should have guessed you don't look Oranese. I've always had that going for me. I only have the birthmarks of an Oranese woman. Let's say we keep calling her class yeah, because we don't want to be like, oh, hey, now that we know your name, we're going to start name dropping you. I'll keep calling her class yeah. That's cool. She looks at the ashtray, then up She doesn't you. feel like a class yeah. She feels like nothing. Enough. She nods, her back straight, ready for whatever is next. Ready for the damage. She knows you're grilling her. You know, I think you didn't make that call to the station. I did. What is this? I called your desk or whatever it is. The numbers are all over town. Call 8102 for emergencies. There was an older okay. woman on the other end. It sounded like she was smoking. She took my complaint. She coughed. That is the emergencies desk number. Oh, okay. Okay, I, w I was pretty unsure about that one, Anyone but I wanted to... Anyone know that, sire. By looking around and calling the desk, I don't believe a single word she says. What time did you make the call? Thursday night. It was late. 
Some time after twelve. It checks out. She... I don't think she'd lie about this. Say nothing. She stands before you, holding her back very straight. Kim, why have we not arrested her yet? This is stupid, but I want to ask. There may be grounds here. At least for an extended detention. Let's... then let's... Let's say that. Let's say if I told you you're under arrest, Cassia. Claus, yeah. She repeats with a paint smile on her face, her back pressed against the railing. It was my first real boyfriend who gave me that name. He never recovered from the shit we went through. Because of me. Who was he? He was a writer. He made what I'm using it. And I destroyed him. She looks you in the eye, her mouth quivering. I know I'm shit. I know. But I haven't done anything. At least nothing illegal. Failure to aid a police investigation. She purposefully misrepresented information crucial to the case. That's very true. Fucking mind games. Enough. That's right, gang. Stern and merciless now. Stern and merciless as we reel her in. Um... International industrial espionage, espionage. We already know that's not actually illegal. What she did wasn't illegal anywhere. It's just very frowned upon. You misrepresented information about the case. Without the Hardy's confession, we'd know nothing. The lieutenant produces a pair of handcuffs. Please, no. Her eyes become round with fear. She tries to back further off. I think I know who did it. Who shot Lenny. I can tell you. I can help you. What do you know? Because see, here's the thing. I don't give a shit about arresting her. I've got a good feeling that she is not the killer. She has nothing to do with the killer. She did. But here's the thing. If I threaten to arrest her, she's going to die. She's going to be logged in the database. And they're going to kill her. At this point... I fucking have her. She's not going to misrepresent anything anymore. I know exactly her, who, her, what her name is. I know everything. This is her being her most authentic self. Yeah, sure, it took a little manipulation, but you know, I'm a cop. Uh, what do you know? Who shot him? She's silent for a second, as if looking into herself for certainty. Then, in a hushed voice, she says. Gearing up for this betrayal is hard for her. Ruby. <gasps> Why do you think it was her? She has this thing for me. Ever since I met her and the boys downstairs. She's been pretty frank about what she wants. What she's saying is... Sex. Sex? And more. I made the mistake of confiding in her. I told her I was on the run. She started protecting me. It became an unhealthy relationship. When I started spending time with Lely, she told me to end it. She said there would be shit if I didn't. It was not a good meeting. We stopped talking after that, but... I don't understand. What exactly in your relationship made you think she's romantically interested in you? She said she's in love with me. She even asked me to run away with her when I told her I'm a fugitive. She started developing notions about our relationship. And you led her on? A little. I was flattered, you know? But then I had to let her off, and it was not easy. I came to regret being friendly with her. We maybe kissed. Nothing more. Sounds like she was fixated on you. This is just an assumption. I know what it sounds like. That's why I didn't want to tell you before. But she knew what had happened when I came downstairs. Somehow, she knew Lely was dead. She wasn't surprised at all. When we came up here, she was calm as a stone, too. She cleaned it all up like she had a plan. This is a familiar theory. You had it, too, 
remember. Could it be that Ruby was covering up after herself? The lynching. Huh. When Ruby's... Yeah, that's a good point. When Ruby said there would be shit happening if you didn't end your relationship with the deceased, was she threatening you? Most likely she was threatening Titus. Oh, no, no not Titus. Um, Lele. Because I don't think she actually wants to kill... Um, Classia. She came over one night, drunk, said she'd turn my life into a living hell. I've been threatened before, if I can tell when someone knows how to do it. And she's a pro. She must be. To keep the hardies in line. Fair. I tried severing ties with her after that. I thought it had worked, but... She looks through the window of her room. Some of that fear is still with her. She exhales sharply. What are you talking about? She's afraid you'll arrest her. And how could she have killed him? You said there was a secret route there, right? She points to the door that leads to the pinball workshop. She could have come up through there, then taken the shot right here, where I stand. It was too dark outside. Oh, no. I wouldn't have seen her. It doesn't even need a sniper from the fucking, uh, like, from somewhere else. It literally just could have been from, from the window right here. That's a good point. Interesting theory. Did she know that door exists? Had you been out there with her? Yes, of course. She's been up here many times, jacking private stations off the ring antenna. She used to come here to drink on the roof with me before it got weird. Okay, that's it for Ruby. Okay, and what? Arrest the liar now. Why? She told us some pretty interesting things there. Yes, thanks, electrochemistry. You, this is actually the most rational shit you've said in a while. Don't arrest her. Push her a bit more, but then let her off. That Ruby theory was solid. And she's beautiful. Who? Her. Stop letting her distract you. No, I don't think I should push her anymore. She's been good. She's been good. Okay, I'll keep you here, miss, for now. Thank you. Thank you. Y you won't regret it. She gave me a huge fucking clue. Something tells you you will. Let's change the subject for the time she here. She slowly, slowly lights another cigarette and steadies her breath. As if in the presence of some tiger. You are. This is not the end of this. Alright, let's return. Alright. That... That was interesting. Um, can we get visual calculus stuff? Maybe conceptualization. Oh yeah. There we go. It's my boy Tate plus your drama. Hell oh yeah, that's where I'm getting the drama from right now. Plus one visual calculus. Minus one visual calculus. Plus one visual calculus. I need visual calculus because I'm going to take a look on another look at the window. I'm also gonna go back to the footsteps as well. Alright. Take another look here. This window is pristine on the oh. inside, unlike the one next to it. Light from the desk lamp reflects off the glass in an untarnished golden halo. All right, what happened here? Golden light melts away into the blue glassy darkness of your mind. Oh, shit. In it are two neon lit shapes, a man and a woman on the single bed. What position are they in? Like the witness said, the man is kneeling. The woman is on her back. It's the night of March 4th, and a shot has just been fired. 
The man looks directly at the woman. The shot's possible directions converge in his mouth. A ray cast from somewhere outside, entering his brain. Where does it come from? From the roof outside. Location A prime. The glass fractures around the bullet hole. Shards face inwards like a corona behind the woman's back. Uh, inspect the ghostly figures. The man does not know the bullet has entered his brain. He never will. Death comes faster than the realization. Have a look at point A, the, the roof. ray cast from the man's mouth unravels into a fan uh, of possible okay. directions, all on the roof at first. The shot could have come from any of them. This is composite location A prime, most likely of the origin points. Shouldn't there be gun residue outside? There could have been. Then the rain and That's slash true. and wind washed it away. This was more than a week ago. So, I'm um, what? 80% sure the roof is where the shot was made from? 72% with a weapon that's good for medium range, like ah. a rifle or sports pistol. This is a good short distance, but not too short. The perpetrator aimed with their back against the railing, or possibly kneeling for precision. This would explain why it only took them one shot. Interesting. The lights were on in here. Outside it was dark. It was like shooting fish in an aquarium, a well-lit aquarium. The victim opened his mouth to let the bullet in. Neither of them would have seen anything outside in the darkness. Too busy with their own bodies. Could the shot have come from inside the room or close to No, it couldn't have. Because if it did, then it wouldn't hit the window. Um, are there any arguments against A prime, the roof? None that you've found thus far, but that doesn't mean there aren't any. Could there be another point of origin further away? That's a 28%, yes. Okay. In this model, the shot could have come from a greater distance. Nothing excludes the possibility. Should we extrapolate to include every possible point of origin in Martinez? Extrapolate the radius to include all of Martinez. According to your map of the district, this shot could have come from a wide angle of locations. Ah, well, starting from the church. with the northern edge of the Earth. abandoned boardwalk, ending with an islet in the bay. Let's call them B prime. More precisely. B prime for boardwalk. B double prime for land's end, and B triple prime for the islet detective. There may be smaller points in between, but those are too fine to zoom in on. Uh, okay, uh, let's take a look at the boardwalk. The B prime, the boardwalk first. Seven We've been there. Away. The likeliest of these B positions, 20% chance. Oh, really? A skilled sniper could have made the shot, provided he had a safe sniper's nest. Even with the light on inside, we're talking military training. At that distance, the perpetrator would have had to take wind direction into account. Okay, that's seeming less likely. Um, what I what I do think is interesting is that the the boardwalk is where we found the dead body, but it that doesn't seem to be connected to the case. It really just seems to be like a drunk. Have a look at point B, Land's End. Uh, be pr uh, double prime or whatever. The least likely of these positions, let's say 3%. A truly skilled sniper could have done it. Possibly from a tent. No, too far-fetched. Yeah, and then B triple prime, the, the islet. One kilometer away, an unlikely point of origin. Beyond the docks somewhere, on an islet in the Bay of Martinez, perhaps. There are islets there badly charted as they may be. The shot would have been a small miracle, 5% likelihood. There is an extremely narrow field of view from the bay to the window, between Rue de Song Gislen 10 and 33A. The angle would have been extreme and access to the islets is questionable. Kim, do you think the shot could have come from further than the roof in Martinez? From where, precisely? Let's say B prime the boardwalk, B double prime land's end, and B triple prime the islet. I see you have given this a lot of thought. Are those the locations you've singled out in addition to the roof? And what is the likelihood, in your opinion, that it came from a further distance? Much less than the roof, but still. Okay, well, we should see if there is gunshot residue or sniper nests if we go down the coast. Rule these spots out one by one. Oh, it would a be idea. the diligent thing to do. Until then, personally, I'm going with the roof version. It fits the hidden path through the whirling. 
A simple hypothesis. Wink. Whoa, okay, that was a lot. Make Titus give up Ruby's location. Kingdom of Conscious, holy shit. We've got a lot of these things to go through. I don't even have fucking, like, I only have like one skill point. I don't even know if I want to use any of these. Yeah, huh. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like I just like to actually level up these things. Because, like, it's like a, like a crapshoot with the other way. Alright, let's go back out. I don't know if I want to talk to Titus now. Maybe I do. Alright, let's take another look at those footprints. Now that we know that it might have been Ruby. You Is clearly see footprints in the downy carpet of dust covering the workshop floor. Jackpot. The no, there's nothing, no, nothing new. Okay. Oh, it's already 6.30. Time's going really fast now. But I feel like we made like some breakthroughs in the case today. Alright, let's... Alright, target Titus Hardy. Oh wait. It's you again. What is it? Hey. Okay, I talked to Klasia. I need to talk to Ruby. Why? Um I need to pin this on someone and I just had to pin this on her. Um, I'm going to level with you. She's the next link in the chain that leads me to Lily's killer. Sounds like you're making her a suspect in this. Not on my watch, you're not. Ruby's one of us. We're not going to throw her under your moral intern steamroller. Fuck that shit. And fuck you too, moral f- Uh-oh. He throws a glance at Titus as the last syllable leaves his lips. The big guy sighs. Ruby is missing. If you hide from the police in a murder investigation, you become a suspect. You know how it works, guys. That's, That's very true. That's just legalese. You don't even have a sound theory. I don't want to be rude, but we're trying to get some R and R here. Think you could fuck off now? Right. Isn't that theory make him see something to consider? Okay. Okay. I think we'll keep sticking around, Titus. You'll be surprised at how quickly a theory presents Holy itself shit. if you keep looking. Well, look at how fucking high our logic is. <laughs> so we found a key in the Union box, saw the winch outside, staged like a pl like a play, reconstructed the murder scene, found an antique rifle. The antique rifle. The antique rifle that we found next door. That's what she. Oh my God. Klaustia gave. Klaustia gave motive. The secret route is found, which gives plus three. Damn. And Ruby is a drug trader established. Yeah. Let's present this theory. A sudden flash of lightning in your neocortex. The hostile cafeteria is lit by its airy blaze. Floor plans, bullet trajectories, webs of human emotion. All channeled into a single thought. Why are you so sure Ruby didn't offer? Because she was here, all night, with us. He's cobbling together shit so he can put her away. It's cop 101. She was here all night? 12.25 to 12.15? She was here during all that time? Yeah, with us, drinking, near the stage there. Um... Uh... She didn't go for some f for fresh air, for one smoke. No. In the whole forty-five minute window, she was with you all the time. All right. She took a fucking leak, okay? 
for one moment. Maybe went out too. She has an operation to run from her lorry. We're not getting into what that operation is again, Kalp. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Don't break your stride now. Fair. And just because she was gone for five minutes doesn't mean she magically got to the roof and shot him. I've been through this. It's not plausible. All right, we're in. We got Ruby unaccounted for sometime during the window. This was crucial. Now let's place her on that roof. Um, the winch. You do agree the shot came from the roof, right? Why not? You can't draw a straight line into Klausia's window from any of the surrounding buildings. Yeah, we gotta have him not like on the same page. About Martin A. Well, I decided not, that might not be completely true, but if we want to get in a conversation with Bucket and Ruby, then we're gonna have to make this true. We're gonna have to like at least have them be on like you know agreement Maybe here. Maybe from the coast, but like I said. I've been too busy dealing with you idiots. So no, I don't think it was a sniper. I think it's it very unlikely to be up. a sniper. There's a 72% chance the bullet came from the roof. 72%? That's a percentage and all. Where'd you get it from? Your guys in the lab? Uh, I analyzed it on the spot. Turns out I can do no, that. No, you can't. I know what you did here on the weekend. People talk. And what they say doesn't sound like a science call. You're a madman. I mean, fair. Those numbers were an asshole, man. Yeah. And they don't put hair on the roof either. It's just mambo jambo. He hasn't got shit. There's a secret route in the kitchen that leads straight to the oh. roof. Through what looks like an abandoned pinball mm -hmm. workshop. People say there was a pinball arcade. Sometime before the hostel. What was it called, Theo? East Delta Pinball Arcade. <laughs> Weird place. Went bankrupt. Okay, but... How'd you get up? There's no room for a staircase in this building. Or an elevator, for that matter. There is an elevator. The elevator is outside the building. It's an old dumb waiter, used for moving pinball machines up and down from the workshop. From there, a door leads straight to the roof. You could just step outside. Ruby could have gone up, shot him, come down. All under seven minutes. That's quite the theory. We need to have a look at that secret passage, boys. I'm on it, boss. Right when the law clears, me and Angus are going up there. It's a dumb way to not an industrial lift. How about I go and Jesus. Of... Just now. You got something else to back this brout up? Or is that... Yet. Have we have we firmly established Ruby um, could have have had access to the roof where the man was shot? Firmly, firmly <sighs> doesn't go well with could have. There's Fine. a route to the roof. Me and the boys need to check it out. That's what we established. Interesting that the key was found here, wasn't it? But in your a little route fucking. Oh, what does fucking not mean? put that bullet oh. in his head. A gun does that. And Ruby doesn't carry one. Phase two. Murder weapon. Get a gun in her hand. If not that, then at least a shadow of a doubt. In the shape of a gun. Show them my antique rifle. There's a, there are weapons like this just lying around in my That days. looks antique. A Bell McGrave. It's inoperable. Where'd you get it? There's a cellar under the bookshop that was hidden there, with others just like 20, it. Twenty, maybe thirty rifles like it. Also broken, but still, there were too many. And there must be other caches too. God damn it, we need to close that dump down for good. Okay, I see your point. There are guns lying around. He damn shakes it. his head. I thought we'd found all the old spots. Why was that still there? We just missed one. Ruby doesn't know this place, boss. Just these cops digging up shit. The local pawn shop sold my last gun to a 
我。哦。The local pawn shop sold my last gun to a woman. Maybe it was her. You lost your gun? <laughs> What an idiot! Damn. Thanks. Did you lose it before the murder? Oh. Uh huh. Oh yeah, that's right. It was a joke. Fucking a. You take your sorry ass out of here. Ruby didn't. This was merely a thought exercise. He did not lose his gun. Let's move on. There's a small 28% chance this shot came beyond the yes, roof. Yes, goddammit. I know what a 72% chance means. It means there's a 28% chance it isn't that. And 28% is no small chance either. Just making sure we are on the same page. It doesn't all fit. We are just sharing info candidly. Titus doesn't reply. Probably a good sign. I've already established Ruby's running drugs. She could have smuggled guns, too. God damn. That's just about your favorite topic, isn't it? Every fucking five seconds. You were warned not to bring it up. Your best shot here is to just back out of it. Fine, Titus. I'm not getting into it if it touches on your precious okay, business. Okay, cop. She's got connections. I could see how she could have access to a gun. That still doesn't mean she did. That's all you needed. Doubt. I didn't say I'd prove she had the murder weapon, just that we need to find her. I don't know, cop. Why don't you find your lost gun first? <laughs> Easy now, Al. This isn't comedy hour. Titus, we're not seriously considering it, are we? Ruby wouldn't do this. Why would she do something like this? Phase three. Motive. The last component. The big one. Get this and they'll give her to you. Remember, don't piss him off. That nope. never works. Okay, that's a good point. I'm gonna try not to kiss him. piss him off. Um, it's not why did she kill him. It's why did she organize the cover-up. That's just told me some pretty interesting things about Ruby. Uh, maybe it's all part of your leadership challenge against you, Titus. Okay, no, not that one. When Classia came downstairs, Ruby appeared to know that something was wrong. It's between... To me, it's between these two. Why did she organize the cover-up? But I think that he'll try and say, Oh, to protect Classia. When Classia came downstairs, Ruby appeared to know that something was wrong. Nah, man. That's just Ruby. She's got shit under control. That's her whole thing. That's why she's so good. Plus, man, it's like female intuition. You know, women talk to women. Which is sort of why we need someone on the team who they talk to. Hmm. Yes, female intuition. That's what it was. You're right, yeah, Eugene. Exactly. Why not, man? Wishful thinking has no place in a police investigation. A more serious consideration that you wish to avoid is that she knew what happened because she did it. It's not why did she kill him, it's why did she organize the cover up. Do I want to say that? Let's say Classia told me some pretty interesting things about yeah. Ruby. Like what? She's a she's a part of the homosexual underground. Oh Jesus Christ. Sex. She wanted sex from her. The big man falls absolutely silent. Yeah, but they're both girls. <laughs> Thanks, fatty. Girls like girls too, Angus, sometimes. This is one of those times. 
She liked Glacier. Come on, guys. She hangs it with you meatheads. This cannot come as a surprise. It's supernatural. A reality-breaking event. It's scary. Yes, she went to a university and learned it from a liberal. <laughs> come on, guys. She hangs it with you meatheads. This cannot come as a yeah? surprise. No. Ruby's got more balls than a ball pit. You'd have to be an idiot not to... Guys, I'm not the only one who knew. Right? Knew what? First he says she's murdered him. Now she's a f who? It's a lie. Come on, Glenn. She likes Monica's titties more than you do. <laughs> Everyone knows which way the wind blows there. I did. I knew it. That's why she didn't fuck me at Fatty's birthday party. <laughs> she didn't fuck you. Cut your 40. And you still live with your mom, Dennis. Damn, I fucking love Shanky. <laughs> uh, Classia said she made advances on her, and she thwarted them. Ruby then threatened her and told her to end her relationship with the deceased. This is some sordid shit. It's also the kind of garbage our Miss Aronier puts out to cover her own ass. She just told us. Ruby made her scared, and she spilled the that beans. That Ruby is queer as cabaret. Now that I start thinking about it, I don't know why I didn't see it earlier. He looks out the window pensively. And that's okay. Some are queerer than others. You can still be a hardy. Thanks, Zach but Glenn. if you bring your own personal shit into our outfit... If that's the case, then it's not right. But it's not the case. Right? There are many pieces that fit together that way, Eugene. Face it. Okay. It's not why did she kill him, it's why did she organize the cover-up. I suppose you have a theory about that too, cop. She could have just been covering up for herself, Titus. Think about it. Why go through all that effort? It was her idea, wasn't it? The hanging. You went along, but she suggested it. She had, like, a fully formed plan and shit. Right when she came back downstairs. Really, Shanks? Closio wanted to talk to another girl, that's all. She was just the first one up there. I could have come up with that plan if I'd have been first. I'm sure, Eugene. Time for a logic demonstration. Eugene, let's assume you killed him. Think. You kill him. Get up there. Shoot him. Get down. Would you prefer to go on trial with your friends as part of a lynch mob or alone for committing murder? The man is silent. If she used us to cover her own shit up, well, that's a serious violation of the Hardy Code, boss. Which is why she didn't. This is fucking stupid, Titus. This and the queer thing, all of it. Why aren't more of you We're defending fucking killing this. This is fucking stupid, Titus. Glenn. I thought the same thing when she skipped town and left us in this shit. Oh, so he didn't rule her out completely. And she skipped town. This is good. Titus, you have to see it. Things don't add up. We need to talk to Silence. her. Silence. He looks around. Oh, we fucking got you, Titus. The old man in the corner nods. This is the only option he cares for. Yeah, I see it. There's one more thing I've been wondering about ever since you asked me where she is. Add it to your list of suspicions, if you won't. I don't know. I don't know where she went. She just got up and left. Got real scared, too. Wouldn't tell me where. However hard I ask. Want to know why? Why? She was afraid I would tell you. Maybe she was right. By now, I probably would. Damn. She knew there's evidence on her, and she knew we'd find it. This is typical suspect behavior. Why fleeing is always incriminatory. Perhaps. You Ask got her him. if you find her. It won't be easy, though. She made sure of that. Where's the rest of the armor? What are the harbor gates? Okay. Wow, I only have one left here. Okay, 
past husband. Oh yeah, we still have to call the... Di the um, to make the traps. Oh yeah, we still gotta do that shit. Doomed hostile. Okay. Wow, we're really cutting down on our task to do. Wait, so what happened to my gun? Where is the gun? Do I see gun? Check down. Complete. I completed this on Tuesday? I don't know what you're talking about. Is it the antique rifle? Because that's technically not my gun. Um, okay, so let's, let's ask Titus a couple questions. Uh, when did she Friday leave? afternoon. Okay. When you first arrived. Oh, wow. I got word the RCM was in town. Then she came in to see me. Told me she was leaving. That's when we had our little conversation. What was she scared of? I told you. You. Me as in the RCM. No, you. As in the cop with the sideburns and the disco clothes. Uh, I'm not wearing the funny tie, so I can't really say that anymore. Oh, well, we, I was wearing the funny tie. Don't forget the funny tie, How too. Can I forget? She, he nods at your tie. Well, I'm not wearing it, but it's okay. You know, when I first saw you limping here, I thought she was paranoid or sniffing her own supply. But. Now I'm not so sure. What else did Ruby tell you about me? She said you have a funny taste in clothes. I don't know what you're talking about. You won't stop. Won't stop? Until you have something on her. She said she's heard of you from Jamrock. That you're a human can opener. That you play suspects against each other. Open them up. Like can. Fucking hell. Titus, did he just... Open Angus up like a can? Yes, he did. Now, we can whine about it. Whack him. Or we can go on with our lives. I'm having a go on with our lives kind of day, Al. How about you? It's not an actual question. <laughs> Silence. He nods. Is that true, Kim? Am I a can opener? You are insistent. Oh, thanks. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Anything? There was something else. She wouldn't tell me, though. I could see she wanted to. It was burning on her lips. This cop, Titus. This cop, he... But she was too scared. Everard has a file on you. Oh. But that's bogus. What she knows comes from somewhere else. From Jamrock. It must be real Interesting. Stuff. Do you have any clues on where Ruby went? She's not far. We know that much. She didn't take her lorry. So, she's on foot. She's somewhere around here. She must be in the new part. Good fucking luck, man. She knows this place like the back of her hand. You'll never find her. What if she was the one... Oh, wait, no, no, we are... I was gonna say, what if she was the one that blocked the canal, but I'm the one that, like, fucked up the canal, right? Yeah, L. Then I... we won't either. No, I definitely did that, yeah. She's not really a party candidate anymore, is she? She's not, Glenn. Um, have you looked a for little. her? On the coast. Where have you looked for her, more precisely? More precisely? On the coast, past the water log. She's not here, so I'm thinking she's there. Can you tell me where on the coast I should start looking? Sure. There's some shit houses there. A cinderblock town. The fisher folk there refuse to unionize. So, 
that's one place we haven't looked. Okay. Now here they have a shack where junkies sometimes crash. Time for you to step up. We will start there. One more question. What does Ruby look like? Boyish. Hair's red. Dye. Oh, perfect. She looks like a lorry man. Do you know what she's looking... Um, what she's doing with Ulan frequencies? The what now? I have no idea. Boys? She said she's... Building a... A pale emitter. Pale what? emitter. We were talking about radio equipment. She said she's doing Yulon frequencies and a pale something. I don't know more. This guy barely understands what he's talking about. Huh. And he's the one that's like the radio guy for the group. There you have it. Pale something. It's not much, but it'll do. It'll have to. Uh, he puts out his hands. I'll shake it. His grip is firm. Titus was like holding a piece uh, of unpolished I actually granite. don't think I had a really bad experience with Titus. He's a hard ass, but like he's actually like kind of one of the nicer guys, <laughs> which is funny. I feel like I should have had a worse experience with him, but like because of just like the intimidation factor here of like coming up, literally talking to the lawyer being like, "Yeah, like this is going to be a talk." Um not just granite. Tightly packed RCM sergeant material. You should be a cop, Titus. When are you gonna get it through your dumb head? I already am. I just wasn't sure you were. And he still isn't. People aren't afraid of good cops in the way Ruby was afraid of you, he thinks, then turns back to his men. Damn. That is some shit. All right. Well, we have to take a look where the shots came from. Um, we gotta go back to the village. We didn't really ask about Ruby before, but we didn't really know Ruby was who we needed to see at the time. Oh, did this open back up? Oh shit, it did. Yeah, these open back up. Conceptualization. Oh, that's not open again. Policeman's cloak. Oh, yeah. I want to hang out with her, I guess. The bar door. How do I, like, get rid of some of these? Like, I don't need the Volition one anymore. Damn, holy shit, that's a, that was a hell of a lot of stuff that just happened. <sighs> yeah, so I think from here, I think we're gonna probably call in about the dead body and say that we're taking the case. Um, and then maybe go back to the fisher, fishing village. And now that we have information that, you know, we really want to take a look to find Ruby. And now that we have a description of Ruby, we might be able to do something there. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We've got we've got a lot to do, but we'll get there. <laughs>